If you were a football fan, you definitely might have come across the name, Evelyn Lozada, right? And we are pretty sure, like most of football fans you too, might not have anything good to say about one of this basketball lives. When it comes to listing the things why fans are sick and tired of Evelyn Lozada, it is not only about her behavior on the show or her sexist remarks. Evelyn Lozada is being the mean girl since 1997. Want to know how? Stay with us till the end of the video where we uncover some spicy facts about this diva. Without any further ado, let's jump into the video. Antoine Walker's Lover or Money Lover Evelyn and Antoine Walker, then a famous basketball player, met each other in 1999. That was the time when Antoine was earning well from his game. Earning well here means the salary of $9 million, and as her girlfriend Evelyn enjoyed the perks of his salary. However, as soon as Antoine's career saw a downfall, and he filed for bankruptcy, Evelyn thought now it was time for her to leave. She also made it clear that Antoine bought these tough times upon himself, as she always remained busy in taking care of their children and looking after the house. She had no clue what was going on with Antoine on financial terms. However, it was okay for her to take $560,000 to open a shoe store. When Evelyn left, Antoine made it clear that Evelyn broke of their 10-year relationship because he had nothing left with him, and it did not take her long to move on. On the other hand, Evelyn tried to put her point forward by letting the people know that the breakup was in process before Antoine filed the bankruptcy, and the main reason for their breakup was Antoine's unfaithful behavior. Whatever you say, Antoine, the fans have already picked Antoine's side, and they labeled her a gold digger. Dating Chad After breaking up with Antoine, Evelyn started dating Chad, again a basketball player. I guess that's why Evelyn qualifies to be on the show Bollywood Wives. Just kidding. Chad and Evelyn made multiple appearances on the show, Basketball Wives. After dating for around four months, they got engaged and got married. Evelyn and Antoine were in a kind of open relationship with some weird rules in it. Like Evelyn was okay if Antoine uses condoms then him cheating is fine with Evelyn. But when within five weeks, Evelyn found condoms bill in his car, they got into heated argument. Following which Chad lost his temper and head butted Evelyn. This incident cost Chad his career, life, money, in short everything. He was on probation after the case for one year, lost his spot in the team and all kind of endorsement deals. After receiving all the hate and after losing almost everything, Chad publicly admitted of seeing other women while he was married to Evelyn. However, he also said in one of his social media posts, I lost my temper for once in life for three seconds and it cost me a lifetime's worth of work. I got it all back plus some after getting a second chance and nothing will get me out of that happy space again. After Chad's post, Evelyn had something to say. That it was not the first time Chad hit her. The same incident has happened before and that too many times. Though the audience did not support Chad's this action, but they were not even ready to empathize with Evelyn, a fan justified. It's not right that he hit you, but you do that to others. So maybe you need to sit down and reflect on how toxic you are and how you make people feel just like you are feeling now. It's called self-reflection. The racist Evelyn. On the show Basketball Wives, Evelyn once lost all her grounds of civilization when OG said that Chad and she were romantically involved. Evelyn passed racial comments on her and posted derogatory comments on social media, following which she faced legal and social media allegations. To which she responded that she just hate OG and it is not about her race or color. Oh my god, after all the ruckus, I don't know how she expected that people will look at her by keeping her in the gray area. The audience signed petitions for Evelyn to leave the show. Even the show did not speak anything in her favor. When the world was trying to figure out and be comfortable with their sexual orientations, Evelyn too changed her identification. In 2019, Evelyn declared that it does not identify as Latina anymore. Now she identifies as Afro-Latina. Evelyn made it very clear that she had an ancestry check and then she found out about her being an Afro-Latina. Poor Evelyn didn't even know what she was putting herself into. As you might have guessed already, people did not take her identity realization reveal very well. And again, Evelyn made it to the heart of trolls. Are you too thinking that this sudden identity change came to save herself for saying that n-word on the television? I guess you know the answer to it. But let's not say it out loud. What's new with Evelyn? Well, Evelyn got baptized and talked about being a role model for women. She talks about not having premarital sex. Seriously, woman? In 2021, Evelyn left the Basketball Wives show. 
but rejoined the show again in 2023. Wait, who is still clinging to that show? However, Evelyn got engaged to a businessman in between, but they decided to part their way a few months later. Now people hope for Evelyn to step a little away from toxicity. And why did she return to Basketball Wives? Those are like lost days to her, huh? What do you expect from Evelyn Lozado in future? Except from being toxic, lol. Do share your views in the comment section below. If you enjoyed watching the video, don't forget to like and share the video. For more such fun and spicy content, subscribe to our channel. See you soon in the next video.